I made it to college. Not quite sure how, but I did do it. And um, <clears throat> off to a great start. I was late 10 minutes to my first class just because my alarm didn't go off right away. But <laughs> so, uh, I made it. I woke up 10 minutes before class started and I was only 10 minutes late. So I'd say that was pretty solid, but I didn't have time to do my makeup. So I figured, what better time to do it than now? Now, I can already hear you in the comments. Girl, you're not doing it right. You're not, you're not putting on the makeup right. Do I look? I'm gonna do it how I always do, because entertainment purposes. Basically, I just start by like putting on the foundation like this um, is hot out. I'm gonna sweat it all off anyway, so I don't really like bother with like full coverage. Here's the blended outside. Um, as you can see, it's pretty pretty solid, pretty good. We're getting there. Some bad news, um, I had to stop going to Dungeons and Dragons because college got in the way, so not playing D&D and my party is a member down. Um, so I just kind of put, you know, there and then here. I need to shave my eyebrows again, um, but like, you know, I just put stuff here because I figure it'll because I do I do my eyeshadow with um no <laughs> I do my um eyebrows with eyeshadow so uh yeah I figure if I have a base there it sticks better and it does pro tip so honestly, like, I know people are going to tell you that you have to have the best of the best in order to look presentable. Nah. Nah. This from Walmart. This was like maybe seven bucks at, at most. And then, so is my concealer. Um, hold up. What I use for eyeshadow primer, um is this oh it's actually covergirl covergirl um and it's like also drugstore stuff like obviously you do you you do what you want if you have the funds to get expensive makeup by all means go do it king queen day them do it also um i got coffee and like it's really good but all the ice cubes melted, so it's just kind of watery now. God, okay, yesterday I was playing pool with my sweet mate. Um, I don't have a roommate, I have a sweet mate. We just share a bathroom. Um, and I was, I was playing pool with him, and I figured that pool was free. Um, don't come for me. Uh, because I didn't know, <laughs> but you have to pay for it. And I had been freeloading for at least a week. So that's a thing. Gotta remind myself because I don't wanna get arrested, you know? But like, I don't know why they make you pay for that. Like, it's fine, get that bag, I guess. But like, <sighs> this costs more than my life. Once you got the base down, once you got all of the stuffs on your face, um, I am going to use this beautiful palette called Take Me Back to Brazil. This palette is very nice. Um, my sister got it for me for my birthday, and it's like super cool, super nice, super swag. Um, it's got like a bunch of 
a bunch of in-between colors. So like if you don't want to go too yellow or too green, there's a yellow green. Stuff like that. Um, I just do my eyebrows with black because as you can see, my eyebrows are very light and that's not even their natural color. I dye them um, with just for men. So, you know, I never get my eyebrows perfect right off the bat. Um, so, feel like, feel free to make mistakes. Like, everyone, not everyone obviously, but like, I think people look at my makeup and they're like, oh, you know, they do it so well, it's great, you know? And thank you from the bottom of my heart. But I have made a lot of mistakes. Um, all right. Where, it, there he is, found it. I use this like slanted brush for my eyebrows. I think that's what you're supposed to do. So this is mascara also from like Walgreens or something. It works, it's good. I didn't wash this brush. This is my eyeshadow brush. So it has red and black on it. Um, but we're, we're gonna make it work. I know some people that don't wash their brushes at all. Um, and I know it can get busy. You do your makeup and just forget about it, but you should wash your brushes. So I'm gonna go like that. I make a line under my eyebrow basically and then just like work it like that. The process looks goofy but it works. So once you got that bottom line you're gonna start shaping them. You're gonna like kind of You know, see, they're not perfect. That's fine. Sometimes your eyebrows, uh, I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but sometimes your eyebrows, sometimes your eyeliner wings are first cousins, and that's completely fine. If someone wants to judge you for your makeup quality, um, they're probably insecure about their makeup skills as well. And they're just like trying to prove to themselves that they're so much better than you when in reality they're not. This is just how I do my eyebrows. Um, I, I do a lot of different shapes. I don't really stay consistent to one shape um, just because it's hard to do one shape. <laughs> they're different all the time. It's like that. Um, and this part looks weird, but another way that I, um, get my eyebrows to be even is I glare in the mirror like that, and then you can see, like, how different they look, or, like, go like this and see, like, how different they look, um, and it does help me personally to figure out what <laughs> what they're up to, what they're doing, you know? Kind of proud of myself today. I think I did a pretty good job of getting them even, but yeah, there's always, there's always differences in them. We're not robots. To correct my eyebrows, I use concealers. This one is my skin tone. Um, you can't really tell right now, but um, this one right here, 10 times lighter than my skin tone like it's just <laughs> ghostly it matches in the winter though so i take my flat brush and i just start going under it and i carve that bitch out like an excavator the bad part about having black eyebrows is that you smudge it and then you can't fully blend it into your skin if you're a pale bitch like me. So, um, you gotta try to get it as good as you possibly can. Um, then again, like, if you do have, like, weird murky spots, who cares? I don't care. Um, so I'm gonna finish doing this one 
and then show you what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, this eyebrow is very like structured. This one is pretty structured too, but you can just, you kind of see the crispiness. Ew, wait, crispness. <laughs> I'm not crispy. So this tail seems to be going up higher than that one. Um, you can't really tell on camera. Uh, I'm a perfectionist, so I can tell. So I, I did what I think looks best. Um, and obviously, I would be a big hypocrite to say don't follow trends because everyone follows trends. Like, it's not a crime to like something that is popular now, you know? Um, it's not a crime. Um, so do what you like because you like it, even if it's a trend, you know what I mean? Um, iced coffee. Basic as hell of me. But I love it. I like it. So, I'm gonna get me a nice coffee. Alright, so, my Nirvana shirt that I'm wearing today has like this pinkish orangish color on the bottom of it. And then it goes on to like yellow. So, I think I'm gonna primarily use um, reds and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm just going to go in with it. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I'm going to use this red here. Um, uh, I'm a very big fan of the color red. I think it's my favorite color. Um, so it's very used in this palette, but what I like to do is just kind of go like this. Um, now, if this brush already had uh, red on it, but if it had green on it, um, before I used it, I would do this and go in circles on my hand until it had no color because if you wash your brush, and then try to apply makeup with it still wet, um, it doesn't work out very well. Um, what I'm gonna do is just kind of shape out my eye, and it's kind of like a cut crease, um, but not. It's like a wing, but not. Um, so I have this side done. I usually don't put the color entirely in the corner of my eye just because, um, I don't think my eye shape or the way that I go about it <laughs> works for me. But um, some people look really good with it. And if you're one of those people, way to go. And before I add any depth or shading to it, I start on this eye so I can try to get it um, equal as possible. And the way I get the wing shape, as you saw, was just holding it like this and doing that. Um, you don't want it to be like too thick, I guess, like chunky wings, all for them, but that's personally not what I'm going for today. Relax your eyes, raise your eyebrows, look, um, just make sure that they're equal, and another reminder, if you can't get them equal, just do your best. No rules to makeup. There's no rules to self-expression and you can do basically whatever the hell you want as long as you're not hurting people or being an asshole. I dip in here and I kind of smoke it down here and make this red. That's the basic shape that I'm going for. Um, now, when I choose ways to deepen the color or uh, stuff like that, I think about the color wheel. I could darken this with blue because when that mixes, it makes a purple. And if I wanted it to be less 
drastic, I could shade it with purple. Um, because it goes, you know, you think red's the first color of the rainbow, but if you were to look behind it, there's purple. So it's, it's, it's a circle. Um, and if you had green eyeshadow, you don't always have to shade it with a darker green. You could shade it with a uh, blue. Um, yeah, and then lighter parts of the green could be yellow. It's, it's a lot of color analyzation. Um, I'm gonna try to shade the corners with a little bit of blue. So I'm just going to put this here. I never fully know exactly what I'm doing. It's always kind of like a little experiment, if you know what I mean. Obviously I have uh, days where I do choose to do things that I know will turn out all right. Uh, that's usually on days where I'm very time, time crunched um, and days where I don't really have the ability to sit around and take all my makeup off if I mess up. Um, but as you can see, uh, I still have a little bit more blending to do, but the blue made it purple, so um, it darkens it. And I do like using the smallest bit of black in the corner of my eye, so not, not like this corner, but this corner. Um, so I'll do that too. But that's what we're working with. Um, and then when you add the black, it deepens it farther. So um, then the black starts looking blue, if that makes any sense. So that's, it went from this to this with a little bit of black and a little bit of blue. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool how colors work and whatnot. So we're here. Um, gonna add the touch of black in the corner. Um, I have to even out this part a little bit, but very excited, very happy about this look so far. So I did end up kind of rounding them out a little bit more. So once you look like a panda bear, you can start thinking about this part of your eye. Um, I like to leave it light because I feel like it's easier to see the eyeliner and all of the other stuff that goes into makeuping. So um, that's what I do. Ooh. Girl! So this, this brush has dark colors on it now, so if I were to go like this, it darkens it. So if you want a little bit of dark there, and then to get lighter, start patting the color on instead of rubbing the color on because the dark colors get trapped in there. And if you start, you know, aggressively using the brush, it will um, bring them out. So that's the eyeshadow for now. Um, don't think I forgot about this yellow though. Sonic Finger Wag. I did not. I have this Yes Please Colourpop palette. Excuse you. It has this very pretty gold in it. Um, and I just put it, I put it on my finger. And then I just like, do that. You know? It's like, sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it does not, but it looks as though it's going to be friendly to me today. Right, so that's what that side looks like. Um, gonna blend it a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it's a little dramatic up there yet, but like, you get the message. It's kind of like a look at me, bitch. I really like the way that the gold makes like eyeshadow pop, you know? Um, personally, I have more of like a, I 
think I have a neutral skin tone because um, although I do really like silver jewelry, gold jewelry is just so beautiful. I tricked you. I'm not done with my base yet. So I take this really light color and I just highlight my like face a little bit, you know? It's definitely not essential because I forgot. All right. It doesn't make much difference, but I notice it, so I do it anyway. After that, I usually do eyeliner, um, but just because I feel like I don't want to deal with taking it off at the end of the day because I'll be tired and stuff, I'm just going to put on um, mascara. Um, call it a day because I think I think it looks fine um, but usually when I do eyeliner I do spikies on the bottom of my eyes um, I like it for contour I use this NYX palette um, it goes, it has quite a few skin tone ranges in it, um, but, you know, um, I use, like, kind of the ones in between. They're a little bit too warm for my skin tone, but, like, I don't really care too much because I think it looks good. So you gotta carve out that, that jawline. Doesn't matter if it doesn't exist. Carve it out. A mistake I made the first time I was contouring was I did it here. No, do it, do it like up here, down. Not like down here. Um, mm -mm. Here, yeah, uh, and then because if you do it down too low, your cheeks just look dirty, you know? Um, and that's what I looked like for like a year. So um, don't be like me. Or do. Um, have your awkward phase. Because I feel like there is lots of people that don't have their awkward phase anymore. And I, I don't feel bad about mine, it doesn't make me feel any worse about my awkward phases, but there's just, there's something special about having awkward phases where, you know, you aren't sure what you want to do, you aren't sure what you want to look like, um, and that's completely fine, you know, to all of the younger folks out there, or, you know, older people that still don't know what they're doing, it's fine. Like, everyone's going to act like they have their shit together. But in reality, not really. Keep in mind, I guess, uh, I'm a broke college student, so uh, I guess take it with a grain of salt, but um, I've heard Older people say the exact same thing. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, masks are reinforced here at my school, so I, I put a little bit of highlighter on my cupid's bow, and I'm going to wait to highlight my cheeks until I do the powder so that they are blinding. Bum, 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 bum. That's fine. Sweep it off. Yep. Um, I use loose powder because my sister made me and because it's it's pretty nice um i do carry around a really old wet and wild powder just because you know some days my some days my face gets really greasy um i have no shame about that sort of thing but sometimes i just feel like powdering my face and i will do it anywhere. <laughs> I was at a demolition derby with my friends the other day and I started powdering my face and they were like, what are you doing? And I was like, 
Grease is temporary. Swag is forever. So that's the highlight. I just put it on with my fingers too, because then I can control what is and it's not highlighted. Do my nosey nose. Um, there. That's pretty much done. Um, if you want to highlight your brows, take a flat brush. This is a different one that I used for my uh, eyebrows and stuff. Just dip it in the um, center is what I use for mine. Um, and then just kind of like sweep under here. See, all good, all good. Um, so that's basically the finished look. I still have to add mascara, which I forgot. All right, so that is the mascara. Doesn't make too big of a difference. Um, one last thing that I completely forgot about is the white eyeliner. Um, I really enjoy using white eyeliner. I think it's cute and fun and adds a little bit of pop to your eyes. So I put it on my lower waterline. I guess you can't really tell, but that's the difference. I don't know. Um, once again, might not be as good on camera, but I can tell the difference, so I do. This is what it looks like up close. Um, you know, upside down. <laughs> uh oh, yeah. Um, so this is what it looks like up close. Um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. I think it looks kind of like a sunset. Um, and don't mind my bed. I didn't have time to make it this morning. <laughs> I'll do that after the video. But it matches the shirt, I think, pretty good. Um, I might accessorize a little bit. Yeah, that's the video for today. Um, ooh, that's a bad angle. So I might um, end up making more videos. Um, probably makeup related just because I do it every day and it's part of my routine um, and I'm not saying you guys aren't important you you are you're really important to me um, I just want to prioritize my education and my mental health right now so um, yeah I'm probably not going to go out of my way to make YouTube videos at this moment uh, just because of that so um yeah if you like the video leave a like and subscribe because i said so <laughs> uh or don't that's fine too i'll see you guys later peace out